I'm Dan Ackman. We're here in New York's Union Square Park, and I've got a how-to tip for you. I'm going to show you how to turn a regular Wi-Fi Apple iPad into an iPad 3G. Now, let's say you're one of those people who just had to have an iPad right away. You couldn't wait for the 3G version to come out, so you got the Wi-Fi one. You've been pretty happy with it, but eventually you get those pangs. You want to go out and about and uh, surf the web from your iPad. You know what? There's a lot of free municipal Wi-Fi out there, especially in parks like this, but you know what? It's not always that easy to find. Sometimes the signals aren't great. Sometimes you need a password, and of course, a lot of places like to sell you Wi-Fi access. So there are a couple of ways you can turn your Wi-Fi iPad into a 3G version without you know, sawing the bag open and shoving a 3G antenna in there. So the way we're doing it today is through a handy little device called the MiFi. You may have seen these before. You get these from a lot of different wireless characters. This one is from Novatel, and it acts as a mobile access point, uh, much like your uh, smartphone does when you tether it to your laptop or something like that. Obviously, you can't do that with an iPhone and connect it to your iPad. Uh, once you set up the MiFi, it creates a Wi-Fi field in about a 30-foot radius. You can connect several devices to it. So depending on what carrier you get it from and what data plan you have, uh, the MiFi usually costs about $100 to $150 if you get a subsidized data plan contract and then your monthly service about 40 or 60 dollars depending on how much data you use it's very much like getting a 3g usb key or activating the 3g on your laptop so you take the MiFi out of the box you turn it on and then all you have to do is on your ipad go to settings go to the network part of settings and then you'll see it listed alongside all the other wi-fi hotspots in the area you connect to it it'll ask you for a password the password is written right on the back of the MiFi unit. You can just start web surfing right from there, and of course you can connect other devices like a laptop or your iPod Touch or anything else to it at the same time. There are no real settings or anything you need to mess with, but if you want to, you can use your web browser to surf to the IP address for the connection and check out some of the details there. But really, it is set and forget it. You don't even have to look at it. You can just stick this in your back pocket or your book bag and carry it along with you while using your iPad out there. I'm Dan Ackerman here in New York's lovely Union Square Park showing you how to turn your Wi-Fi Apple iPad into an iPad 3G thanks to MiFi. CNET.com slash live is the place to find your favorite CNET tech shows. From hottest gadgets to the latest tech news, we stream it live five days a week at CNET.com slash live.